Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael and today we are looking at a family thrill coaster called Rage. And this was created by Astro underscore King 808. And you can see the kind of small basic layout, which is really, really good, I think. And it looks like using probably... Who I don't know what track that is. Is this got a launch as well? Um... I don't know, I'll have to look and see, but it's interesting using the different track pieces, but then using the invincible cars there. Um, as you can kind of see, the overall layout it does have one inversion. So I think this is supposed to be like a little bit more of an in intense family coaster, but also um, not too intense to where, you know, the f um, it's not going to scare off a lot of people. And so that's the exit. I love how it goes over the station right there. That is beautiful. And then you've also got these kind of art shapes and stuff being used. So we've got Rage. And Astro likes to do this a lot with um, his creations, is using certain things in each one, which I totally understand. Um, so using the same fence style, which is nice. And a lot of foliage here, which is good. You got the, tree, or the TVs to watch whatever they put on there while you're waiting in line. Um, at least at Kings Island Cedar Point, it was talking about their food. <laughs> um, and I love how you got the path cover right here um, underneath the coaster track, which is nice. And so as you're sitting here in line, basically no matter where you're at in line, which there should be a little bit more of a protective fence around, but no matter where you're at in line, you're just getting good, good views of the coaster and so you can see here. Yeah, that's fantastic. Let me click on that real quick. I'm going to see. Okay, it is the bar heist. So using the Gerschlauer track, because that allows you to do a launch and a lift hill. So there is a little launch on here, and you all see where that is in a second. Um, oh, that's a cool way to do a fan. Oh, that's cool. So it's just using the spinning tire and spitting out. Um, little fog machine that is awesome and then now we have looks like we got a room underneath there or something or storage and we got the station love the lights and this is something that I haven't seen too much but I've seen him start to do this is using these um, these poles as kind of the support pieces which I like because they're not that thick compared to if you wanted to use a coaster support and stuff and I like the um, different colored bagging stations there, or where you put your bags and stuff. I think that's really cool. And then this camera here, this screen would be to show you um, which seats are locked, which ones aren't. And you, you don't need a, a large screen for that because there are only eight people that can ride in each train. So I think that's a really cool touch. And let's pause that one so we can hop on it. Let's look at the stats for the coaster. G-forces look good. 39 miles per hour max speed. Tallest hill 42 feet. It's got one inversion. So I'll talk to you after we take a ride on Rage.
So that was Rage, and I really like that coaster. Um, I think if there was, or there were a few moments early on, but I think that's more because of the coaster train being on a track it wasn't specifically designed for. And I think you could tell that going up the lift chain, sitting front bumper, and on a couple of this first, these first parts. Um, but really smooth inversion there for that custom inversion. Really good job. And then it's kind of like a, a half zero G roll, half corkscrew. Um, so it's got a very unique kind of shape into it. I love all the little kind of awkward banks and little pops of airtime and stuff like that. And then also like that kind of flat line design on the station roof. It's just something different. And then here we've got the, uh, the gate or the door into the transfer track. And then you've got your button there. So you got your employee down there that would press a button and then it would slide this one over to the right, slide this one over to the left and put the new car on the train. So really cool. Um, you got a door over here that would take, oh, never mind. That's another cable box. So yeah, everything's covered. Fantastic little coaster. And I mean, just all the little rocks placed around. You got all the foliage. Um, you got the leaves, the trees. So this is really well done. And one thing that he does as well on all his coasters usually is having a path go all the way around it. So it's one of those where you could like, you know, you could basically open up this map if you wanted to and build a park on it and kind of keep this as like the centerpiece for kind of where you walk in and stuff. But always does a good job of making it where you could, in theory, take his creation, save everything together as one blueprint and move it to a different park. Um, so I think that's kind of the idea with some of these creations and stuff. This part, this part right here might have been my favorite moment. You come up down a little airtime, you bank a little bit to the right, airtime, you come down, overbank, and then you come up here. And so I think that part probably overall is my favorite part on the coaster. So yeah, what, what were y'all's thoughts of Rage and kind of the track that this creator decided to use for this? So let me know your thoughts. Make sure to hit the like button. Check out the links below, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Talk to you later.